James, you hate dogs, right? No, I don't hate dogs. Why would you say that? Why I would don't you? Know. I just do. Feel I like have that's a reputation for yeah, seeming I just like feel I hate like dogs. I'm the dog kicker. I'm the dog kicker. Yeah, all the neighborhood kids say that. What neighbor? I don't think there's a single child that lives in our neighborhood. By the way, they can't afford it. I was very fortunate and got an early copy of Best Friend Forever. Full disclosure. Okay. And just want to put it out there. I also in my mind I always call it best friend from heaven which is that movie with chris christopherson where he yeah. voices the dog yeah you can see me however it's a del delightful little game where we've moved to this town where mm -hmm. everyone has a dog okay and now we're joining a dating app called woofer uh-huh to try to date people but everyone dog lovers. yeah but yeah so they all have dogs so yeah and these these are the choices we have these to who choose from who we can play as okay. i think they're all great they're all very very cool i personally like i think i like her okay yeah i'm fine with that Gwe Gweeks? <laughs> Gweeks. yeah maybe just smith that's good yeah smith <laughs> do you know what benson's star sign is i think it is aquarius or capricorn I think it's Aquarius. Aquarius, of course. Because Aquarius and Capricorn are both January, right? Oh. Oh. Yes, these. Oh, no. In 300 years' time, dogs most likely have ascended to godhood, their own TV network, overthrown the capitalist regime, replaced cars. I think because cats were gods of the Egyptians. Yeah, for sure. Gods, the dogs will be our next mm -hmm. gods. Which really sounds like the worst first date. Attending an amateur improv. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, oh, we don't need, need to, to see the, the, other the other ones. ones. Uh, your ex would describe you as a mystery wrapped in an enigma, an overbearing mother figure, as three children wearing a trench coat to the police. Oh. Um. Maybe for the, you. Me, the police? I don't know. I could see you being a Muppet man. Yeah. Which of these upsetting flavor combinations do you most relate to? Pickles and peanut butter, banana mayonnaise and jello, Irish cream and vinegar. Oh. Was it Caden that was talking about pickles and peanut butter recently? Yeah. Yeah, she had, was making that kind of sandwich. Uh, for me, it's one of these bottom two. Okay. Well, then do orange juice and toothpaste because you love brushing your teeth and you always drink plenty of orange juice. It's Ooh. moving forward. All right. Okay, some so matches. we got some matches. Sasha, 27. Uh -huh. Astrid. Oh, I didn't even... They share our interest in activism. Oh, I didn't know we didn't were interested in that. Were. The occult. I also knew we were into that. Yeah. yeah. Esports. Also the occult. Pomeranians. Okay. I like her style yeah, a lot. For sure. This guy, though... He's an older man, Ooh, Anders. Anders. I've been around the world several times, <laughs> this world and others. Mm. And I love cooking. And Felix. True crime pod podcast with his <laughs> double guns. Okay, all right. Well, let's 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 get into town, right? We gotta head into town. Okay. What an absolute. Yeah. So, so these are the disc jockeys, the DJs. <laughs> right. Well, they and they run the radio Denmark station in Rainbow Resident Bay. Uh, Shocky and Jockey and Fox. Really <laughs> You're listening to Shocky Jockey and the Fox. <laughs> we we've forgotten who's who. Also, we're arguably the youngest disc jockeys in the history of time. <laughs> we're 19. All right, so we're, we're getting to Rainbow Bay's art district. Okay. Into our new apartment. We live in the art district. Why? What are we running away from? Did we establish? Not having a dog. Okay, I, guess. I understand. I would run away from that too. There's someone trying to slip something under my door. It's a subpoena, not again. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I like the way I like the way Nia said it. Is that a subpoena? Not again. <laughs> Tiny silent feet of a mouse or a ghost. He's holding a stack of papers in one hand. And a brindle patterned Italian greyhound curled up and wearing a turtleneck in the other. Mm hmm. Are Italian greyhounds that small? Greyhounds the Italian ones, maybe. Okay. I, 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 I used to my name's uh, help my friend oh, house sit, and then by extension, dog sit mm -hmm. this house uh, when I was, I don't know, like 18 or something. And there's a greyhound that lived there who was really, like, really scared of a lot of things because it, uh, she was a former racing greyhound mm. that had been, uh, that someone had rescued oh, after mm -hmm. the racing. And so uh, she was really scared of everything. Um, but we managed to, over the course of like the mm -hmm. summer, win her over and then she became our friend. What's she doing now? You know, probably Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame pension or something like that. How old was the dog at the time? Uh, pretty old, probably like ten or something. I mean, I, I that don't think was, that that was fifteen years ago, sixteen years. Yep. Yeah, so probably you know now dog's about 25, 26. So 
Cups for the People, the Pot of Gold Youth Association. Do you think this game was timed with National Dog Day? No, I hadn't even thought of that. I didn't realize it was National Dog Day until my mom texted me. Oh, did she? And she said, tell Benson, I said hello for National Dog Day. Uh, And I said, who's Benson? And who is this? Because it wasn't my mom's number. It'll be super fun. And then you can go. And then you can make this face afterwards. Oh. <laughs> uh, I will say I, I did know from Immature that it was National Dog Day because everybody was posting pictures of their dog, and someone posted a picture of their 16-year-old dog. Okay, that's his old dog. It's an old dog. A lot of puns happening right now. These two are made nah, for each other. Going after it. Sasha's loving it. Is it possible to just bang your way through the whole town? <laughs> like, just without regard for anything? Catch you later. Bye, Sasha. I love how every visual novel now is just like, uh, really, you know, enchanting story where everyone can just be thirsty as hell. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's the a visual novel world is the world in which we all truly wish we could live, you know? <laughs> Work is often just the click of a button, and the rest of the time is spent going around, doing the things you want to do, meeting all kinds of new people, by the way, who are also interested in meeting you. Mm-hmm. Right now, Nia's having an existential crisis mm-hmm. in her new apartment. Okay. Nobody will cry for me. They'll stand over my headstone and wonder, did Nia ever drink from those mugs? No, no, I did not. Yeah, I only use maybe like two mugs mm-hmm. in rotation. Yeah, we have, we have so, so many. many. Yeah. Like for what? We maybe I mean, should get rid of some. Some, 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 of, are, some of them have big gifts. Some are gifts. Some are, you know, we got them traveling or something yeah. like that. There's, of course, my Santa mug, which I bring out once a year to, uh, <laughs> uh, on Christmas Eve to drink my peppermint tea before so, Santa arrives. Now we're going to the, to the pound, I assume. Paw Prince reception. Paw Prince. Paw Prince. Paw Prince the rescue to, to get a dog. Mm-hmm. Do you think if I went to a rescue and I found uh, a dog that needed rescuing and I took the dog out of there and carried the dog away in my arms, I would be that dog's paw prince? So so we're at paw prince reception. Paw prince reception. Okay, and we met this woman. Quincy. Quincy? Quincy! Look at that shirt! Look at those, those tats. pants. Those glasses, that bun. <laughs> hey. I hope we play the whole game and we're dating all these people and then at the end we just find love with Quincy. We just find love with Quincy. Aye, we go, aye, you know yeah. what? Let's just settle down with Quincy. Yes, I'm ready to meet my best friend forever. You've been waiting for this literally all <laughs> hey, 13 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> It crossed. It went to black and then came back in the same room as though I thought it was going to show us dogs. The night may be over. We just watched that. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So we'll hunt Quincy because he can take it. I love that. This Jim Gordon going, it's because he can take it. That he's the one we're hunting, as it shows Batman stumbling around in a uh, in a warehouse, yeah. and he's saying it to his seven year old son. Yeah, he's doing some paperwork now. The son goes. I think that was Bruce Wayne, huh? Quincy's asking us where the dog's gonna sleep, uh, which they do. Like when you're adopting a dog, it's not just like here you go, here's your dog. They actually kind of like interview you and make sure yeah. that the dog's going somewhere. Yeah, except they don't want to hear that. Like with with Benson. They were like, all right, you need to get the like most basic leash possible. We don't want any fancy leashes. Yeah. And you got to get a cage because Benson better sleep in a cage I'll next go. to your bed or somewhere else, not in the bed or wherever the dog wants. Get a crate. Don't let that dog on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> and then we, we undid all of it. He deserves it. Yeah. Come here. We're finding a new dog. We're finding a new dog. You good boy? Can you sit for me? Oh, what are you slotting at me for? We were just talking about when we adopted you. We were talking about when we adopted you. We were just talking about when we adopted you. Yeah, yeah. You want a treat? You want a treat? 
He's going to get his treat. Come here, Benny. This is a guilt treat. This is a guilt treat because we're playing a game where we get new dog. Good boy. Good boy, Cannibal. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Say, have fun playing your game, finding new dog. Say, have fun playing your game, finding new dog. All right. Thanks, man. Thanks for coming. Okay, so we're gonna meet four dogs to choose from. Okay. All right. It's a Titan. Titan. Four years Beautiful old. Beautiful little fluffer. She's Maltese, white. Got some attributes there. Mm -hmm. Not something you, know, you can always fix the fitness, right? Yeah. My name's Titan. I'm excited to meet you. Okay. Big storm. A little shy. So stray. Oh. I've been to lots of lovely families who agreed to look after me. I'm looking for someone permanent. We all are. Sometimes dogs, they decide, they go, you know what? It's time for me to settle down. Scared of new people. Love to sit on warm laps. Reminds me of Benny. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're going to say that for every dog. Reminds me of Benny. I can't help it. Okay. Blocker. Okay. One year. Yep. Confiscate. Can't even get a good picture of Blocker. Look at Blocker. He does not. Still. Well, because he does not trust. Oh, is that why? <laughs> does not trust. I don't trust, it's gonna take my soul. See that camera, it's gonna take my soul. Behind my intense face, I'm actually a big softy. Mm -hmm. My previous uh, previous owners didn't treat me well. Aww. I'm always okay. eager to play fetch or explore. Right. Cheese ball, like a cheese ball, she's so cute. She's very confident. She, but she's very young though, nine months. But she's smart. Well, but sometimes with Shibas, you gotta be careful. They're very independent. They're yeah. too smart for their own good. I'm a Shiba Inu, only nine months young. Bit handful, doesn't like socialization. Uh, if you're going to adopt me, you need to prepare to not let me manipulate you. Benson manipulates us. Cardigan. Cardigan got no manners. Look at Cardigan. Cardigan knows, too. He reminds very me fit. of that actor from The Green Mile, the blonde guy. You know, so. Anyway. Okay. Blocker's previous owners didn't treat him well. What is with these owners? These previous owners? You know what? I thought Rainbow Bay was supposed to be a nice place, but it sounds like there's a lot of garbage owners out mm -hmm. here. Unless these dogs are imports from other places. Who are you thinking? Is there anybody? I mean, Titan... Titan's the older dog. It's the, only, the only thing is... Titan is the older dog. Titan's already been through... A, a, do a full dog's lifetime worth of worth of trash. I would like to give Titan a chance to really, you know, I'd say Cardigan or Titan. I, I'd say Titan. Really give Titan a chance to... I'd say Titan. Okay, great. Hello, Titan. Do we want to rename uh, Titan? You're supposed to rename a dog that you adopt. Okay. All right. Benson 2. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what should we rename Titan? Cardigan. Wouldn't that be so insulting? We don't adopt the Cardigan and Cardigan's watching, and then we go, what's what's this dog? What are we yeah. going to name Titan? <gasps> Who's our little Cardigan? Good boy. Who's Good our little Cardigan? cardigan. Um, Quincy, after our favorite person in Rainbow Bay. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, uh, let's see. An unconventional... Because Titan's female, right? Just ow. Alice. Um, Ow. Uh, uh, there's Stevie. Stevie's cute. Like Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks. I thought you meant like Wonder. <laughs> um, it could be that too. <laughs> no, I love Stevie. Okay, let's do Stevie then. Okay. Oh. Oh. What happened there? Now there's an excited you dog. Like a good match. Let me love you. Okay, so you pet the little doggy down there. Ah, she loves it. Jade yeah, we're still first doesn't dog seem owner. like I'm. We're here. We're taking the dog. We're gonna take care of the dog. And we should do in. classes and check in. We gotta qualify for dog love. Wait, we do an exam to see if we'll. She's working on me. <laughs> oh, sounds like something got squashed. <laughs> Oh. oh, big fart. 
Stevie did a big fart and barking at Quincy. Who's this? Australian Shepherd. So we see them. We saw them earlier. They were one of the potential. Mm -hmm. They, they she looks love like Brave, all grown up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brave. I got my name, my name's Brave. If you could change your dog's name, would you? <laughs> Cardigan. Here. Alright, let's see. Okay. Okay, so Robin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, also, her dog's name's Missile. And, and Missile is a graduate of the, the Paws Academy. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, Steve. Uh. It's okay. Don't worry. You're good. You, we trust you. We trust. We trust. <laughs> <laughs> Did Quincy just say, don't be a drongo? Yeah, no wuckers. She'll be stoked to have a true blue or sick on boo. I don't know. Oof. Yeah, yeah. yeah not crazy uh -oh, about uh -oh, it. Oh, she's not happy with I don't that. know that the best thing, when you find out someone's Australian, the best thing you can what? do is immediately Have mock their uh, accent. Right. Robin. Robin Savage. Oh, she's a proctologist or something. And you just made it the biggest enemy in town. <laughs> Big mistake. Mate. Huge. It's okay, Stevie. The Paws Academy, school for dogs, hands right. off. They'll give us the basics, got it. Got it. Build a relationship based on trust. Love it. Toys, tricks, and treats, mm, got it. All Just give it. me the program. You know, Benson's a graduate. We took him he to is, dog yeah. training school and he, he graduated with honors. <laughs> well, Lots of puppies around there. He was one of the he was one of the top students in the class. He was. He was also the oldest student in the class. He was four and a half years old. Doesn't matter what it doesn't matter. And the matter. other the other dogs were all like a year and under. It doesn't matter. He had never been to school before. It was his first time. We <gasps> did, you know what? Anders. Anders. <laughs> Look at his dog just blanks <laughs> on thousand yard stare. What kind of song I will is say, this? There's a circus music. He's a music. carnival worker. <laughs> um, Benson, we didn't adopt him until he was four. And and then he was. He said, I want to go back to school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's like, I want to finish. I want to get my my, my DOG. This is called. Andrew's wishful thinking. Wow. His, his dog, Gree. His dog's working. He's a guide dog. Oh. Oh. Wait. He's blind. Is Anders blind? Like a, he's a vampire. He's a, he's a vampire who's blind, so he doesn't know the sun is out right now. It's, it's, his hand's warm. The perfect temperature. It's all of it. It's, it's cold. It's, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Uh, ice cold. The corners of his eyes pinch up as he smiles, betraying some age. Wafts the scent of sandalwood. That's <laughs> what I wear. It is. I use sandalwood. Remember? Because I got that other body wash and you were like, that smells like trash. So then the one I got that... <laughs> it wasn't that is... your best. Like, Because you, you always mix it up. You buy a lot of like different body washes and you're always oh, trying man them the world. Oh, we gotta get to... Get him. Trust. I trust you. Um, okay. Cooking classes. Uh, it's Anders. You gotta oh be a little gosh. capacious. Eggs Benedict. Wait, so Perhaps is I'll Anders make it if blind? you're ever around in the morning. Yeah, that's why he's got his guide dog. Okay. Because he's looking right at us. <laughs> Oh man, I would love a good oh, eggs benedict. Better manners. That's better manners. With the quarantine, it's been a long time since I had eggs benedict. We can, I can make you an eggs benedict. Yeah, you can poach an egg. You just spin the, oh, get the water hot. I guess we could buy hot. like a little egg poacher. I'm the egg poacher. <laughs> you, but have you ever made one? No. But I looked once when you said you liked eggs benedict, I watched YouTube videos on how to do it, and you gotta spin the, you boil the water, you spin it. You drop the egg in so that way it never settles and it keeps spinning and then you have to pull it out so that way it creates like an orb thing. I I'd love do to practice. see it. I can do practice yeah, on yeah. it. Yeah, It's a good thing to... No, it's a useful skill, mm -hmm. you know? If this doesn't pan out, this, this whole, you know, making funny videos thing uh -huh. doesn't pan out, I could be an eggs benedictor. <laughs> Do you, think, do you think uh, when uh, the Pope was like picking his name, he thought they said, what do you want for breakfast? And he said, eggs Benedict. And they said, Pope Benedict, it is. <laughs> do you think that's what happened? Feeding Stevie, first meal at home here. Okay. Oh, wait, she's not, she just keeps going. Yeah, it's like Benson.
Well, Benson's got, gotten more sensitive with his food in his older age. He used to just hoover anything and everything. I think, I bet I, re oh, gotta get his poop in there. Nice job. Um, I think Benson just doesn't like it rubbing on his nose though. Yeah. Cause now I've had, <laughs> this is very revealing, but I've had to get into the habit of when I make his food, I put it on a plate, I set the plate down. He looks at it, he looks at me. Then I have to take a piece of it in my fingers yeah, and hold it and then he'll eat it. How to dog. He's right. an old man now. So you got attributes, you gotta pick activities to do the week. All right, let's go. All right, so let's do some stuff. What is fitness? We should do something that involves some fitness. Maybe maybe walkies and talkies. Okay. Oh. Oh, employee oh. dog. I accidentally clicked that one. I'll, I'll click away. Okay. Walkies and talkies. All right, walkies and talkies. That'll be a little bit of fitness and manners. Trust, big spoon, little spoon. Sure. There's fitness and trust, puppy paddle, hit the beach. Oh, yeah. Uh, work the runway, mm -hmm. smarts and trust. That wouldn't be, wouldn't be too bad. Maybe time for some snacks. Okay, manners and trust. Satiation. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe we, we need see, energy. We don't need to squander the day. But you get satiation and you energy. See, you could hit swap and see how much energy Stevie has. Plenty. Energy's like one of the lowest ones, satiation and energy. Yeah, but it's so big. Because she's older too. You gotta be considerate of that, James, all right? She doesn't want to be treated as an invalid. I think it's squander the day. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, we get to see a little, little, Stevie's, <laughs> little Stevie's day. Stevie slowly pushed you out of the comfy spot on the couch. Sounds familiar. Look at Stevie! Come on, is that Stevie or is that you? Both. You would kill for a little I donut would, a like little floaty that. at the beach. <laughs> we tried on different socks for hours. We're such cards. You guys, you, know? you two, We're you are, cards. for sure. Smarts is down. We ain't got the smartest dog. Okay, now we need to take dog care, care of our time. dog. All right, okay, so now we're trying to pull. Okay, so you spend energy during the week doing those activities. So satiation, we definitely need. Wet food, I feel like it feels like a. Yeah, a little bit less hydrine, hygiene. Oh. There you go, boo boo. It's like Benson, you gotta put it right in there. That's it's the situation. So getting a little dirty. So, Tend, probably. Yeah. Fresh tea? That would be pretty good. It increased hygiene and hydration. Mm -hmm. So let's All brush right. teeth. <laughs> so tolerant of it. Benson would never do that. Satiation's okay. down. Uh, Treats, You could just do the treat at the top. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, that, that is, is that satiation? There you go, little puffer. Let's get treats oh. for you. Oh, no. Nope, oh. The treats, the treats are just... That was minus satiation. Uh-oh. I think we want a dog bone. Aw, oh, she's so tired. What a, what a big first day. Oh, I mean, I guess first week, really. Snoozing in progress. Thus, I feel like I should get that, and I could hang it on the doorknob when you're in there. Mm -hmm. Except I'd be in there, too, because we don't really sleep at different times. I'm not an Anders, after all. <laughs> So I guess the question is, does Nia have a job? Well, does... not, no, Anders is the only person that oh, employs dog dogs. Oh, dog. Oh, wait. Okay. Let's gotta drag her away from stuff. All right, let's go for a walk. Oh, okay, so the whole game opens up now. Welcome to Woofer. Now she has a lot of hot singles. You should open that file. Oh wait, which file? Suspiciousfile.exe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
right. Check your emails to or avoid your inbox like a millennial. Mm -hmm. Make decisions on which woofer bow to bark up. Rainbow Base up there with the with Ocean City or whatever from uh, Rocket Power for me now in terms of maybe best cities. <laughs> oh well, I guess we can't. I can't open click it. it. Okay. Fifteen weeks. Sorry. Well, I mean, do we want to? Should we? Is this a pretty good? place to pause here no pun intended dogwood gardens is having a dog adoption fair you just got a dog okay let's just see do we see dogwood gardens on here i mean you probably can't go because you have a dog oh we would okay so now we can pick let's just meet go meet one person okay i wish i could open an app and then it would show where human beings are and whether or not i can encounter them who are you thinking i mean we were interested in uh what's her name maribel let's go meet maribel where is she? In the industrial district. <laughs> oh, the steel workers. Oh, wait, maybe one of them's at Dogwood. I don't think so. No, it's the library. Library. All right, go see Maribel. See these guys? Oh, no! It's okay, we're just going out. It's nothing to be scared of. We're just going, it's just the industrial district. <laughs> 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 It's me. steam everywhere. It has. It looks this way because it's a chosen aesthetic by young people. Here, gravy. Oh, I like her jumpsuit. Gravy. The buff woman having stepped away from the counter. She is pretty buff. Oh yeah, she is pretty buff. Her name's Gravy. Doesn't she get hot in there? Yeah, that's not make a whole case. You her name's Grave Digger. Oh. Um. That's a cool name. Yeah, named after the truck. <laughs> Puff Pack 3000 with a reinforced acrylic doggo vision viewing station. Uh -oh. 47 unique ventilation points and built an organic pheromone diffuser. Wow, these people really take their dogs seriously. Yeah. <gasps> this is Stevie. Stevie's really coming out of her shell. And I think part of it is the loving people of Rainbow <laughs> Bay that are helping Stevie figure out another fart. Uh -oh. There's a corgi that I follow on Instagram, Mad Max Fluffy Road, and his owner always carries him around in a... Like a backpack. backpack. Yeah, he's always on the train. <gasps> Some dogs just live such incredible lives. <laughs> it was lovely to meet. Oh, exchanging emails. Mm. Who's growling? Receipt for one protein bar for ten dollars. Wow, for she's, a protein bar. she's got expensive tastes. This woman, I'll tell yeah, you. Yeah, but I, I mean, there's no. Come on, what are you, right just, what are you Come on, what are you getting at? All okay, right. so. Oh, okay, so we used some energy to go around and do that. This seems like a pretty good place to save yeah. our Stevie save profile. Here. Save. Last scene at Industrial District. <laughs> That's how I want to be. <laughs> That's how I want to be known as. The music. I'm just gonna save it again because I'm good. I think I saved right. it. You patted your dog 62 times. Aw, it's All never right. enough. Well, will we find love? I don't care, because we got Stevie, and Stevie's all the love we need. But if you want to see us continue this journey, let us know. Mm-hmm. And until then, go find a dog, pet your dog. Or a vampire man. Or a vampire man. He might be blind, we don't know. 